morning students and welcome to our YouTube channel Gnan Manjari Modern School. So, in the previous video, we have just completed our exercise 2C in which question number 1 and question number 2. Okay, now we will just move towards the question number 3 that is fill in the blanks that you have to do by your own. Moving towards the question number 4. So, question number 4 that is write down the multiples of the following numbers between 55 and 105 here we have to write down the multiples of the following numbers okay that is 10 we have to find out the multiple of 10 between which 55 and 105 so let us find out first of all so here exercise to see question number 4 that is in that A that is 10 ok B that is 15 C that is 20 D that is 25 E that is 30 and the last one F that is 40 ok so let us find out the multiples of the following between oh, uh, 55 to 105 between 55 to 105. We have to find out all the multiples of 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40 between 55 to 105. Okay, so let us write here 10. We have to find out the multiple of 10 more than 55, that is 60. So 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 and 110 but 110 will not be included why because we have to just find out less than 105 ok so these are the multiples of 10 between 55 to 105 then after writing of 15 so here you should know the first of all the table of 15 that is 15 ones are 15, 15 twos are 30, 15 threes are 45, 15 fours are 60. Yes. So 60 will be there. Then after 75, then after 90 and again it will be 105 but 105 will not be included. So these are the factors of 15 between what? Between the 55 and 105 ok then after 20 so between 20 that is 20 3's are 60 so 60 80 and 100 so these are the multiples of 20 between what 6 uh, between 55 and 105 that is 60 and 80 and 100 Okay, now moving towards 25, that is, here 25 ones are 25, 25 twos are 50, 25 threes are 75, and 25 fours are 100. So, this both are the factors of 25, sorry, multiples of 25 between 55 to 105. Okay, then after moving towards 30, so here it will be 31's are 30, 32's are 60, 33's are 90. Okay, so this will this two will be the factors, uh, sorry, multiples of 30 and lastly it is 40. So 41's are 40, 42's are 80. So there will be only one multiple between 55 and 105 of 40. Okay students, so please write down the answers, I am just giving you some time.
Ok, students. Now moving towards question number five. Question number five. So the question number five that is write down the multiples of the following numbers between 200 and 300. Here now we have to find out the numbers between sorry multiples between 200 and 300. So here first one that is 55 second one that is 63 third one that is 82 D that is 91 E that is forty three F that is twenty five. Okay, so here we have to find out the multiples between two hundred and three hundred. So, first one that is fifty five. So, what will be the multiples of fifty five? First of all. Okay, that we have to find out. So, first of all, if I say, then here it is 55. So, 55, we should know, we should add one by one. Let us add. That is multiples of 55. That is 55, 110. In adding 55, that is 5, 6, 1. Okay, then after again adding 55, that is 0. 6 plus 1, 7 plus 5, 7 plus 5 that is 2 and 12 that and here it is 2, 220. So our first factor will be 220. Here will be 5, 5 plus 2, 7, and again here 2. So here another one that is 275. And if I just add more 55 in it, then it will be more than 300. So there is only two multiples of 55 between 200 and 300, that is 220 and 275. Okay, now moving towards 63. So, in 63, sixty-three, sixty-three plus sixty-three, that is three plus three, six, six plus six, twelve. Okay. So this is not more than two hundred. So we have to add again sixty-three in it. So six plus three, nine. Six plus two. 8 and 1 as it is. So this is also not more than 200. Again adding that. So 9 plus 3, 12. 8 plus 1, 9. 9 plus 6, 15. Here it is 252. The first one 252. Now adding more 63 in it. So 6, 2 plus 3 that is 5. 6 plus 5 that is 11 okay 6 plus 5 that is 11 and 2 11 2 plus 1 3 so it is 3 1 5 so there will be only factor sorry only multiple between 200 and 300 that is 252 okay students now moving further to 82 82 That is
82. So adding 82 plus 82, that is 2 plus 2, 4, 8 plus 8, 16. Again adding 80, 20, 4 plus 2, 6. Then after 18, uh, 16 plus 8, 8, 3 is 24. So here it is 2, 4, 6. If I just add 82, then it will be more than 300. So there will be only one multiple of 82 between 200 and 300. Okay, students, moving forward to 91. So, 91, let us write first of all 91 plus 91. So, 1 plus 1 to 9 plus 9, 18. So, this, that is not more than uh, 200. So, again, adding 2 plus 1, 3. 9, 3 is a 27. Okay. If here we just add this, so first we get that is 270. Three. Okay. So if I just add more 91 in it, then it will be more than 300. So we will not do it. Okay. Then after 43. So let us do that of 43. So 43 plus 43, that is 3 plus 3, 6. 4 plus 4, 8. This is not more than 200, so we have to add more. That is 6 plus 3, 9. 8 plus 4, 12. Okay, so this is also not more than 200, so we have to add more 43. So 9 plus 3, 12. Okay, 1. 2 plus 1, 3. 3 plus 4, 7. Okay, so here 1, that is 170. Two. That is also not more than 200. Adding again 43 in it. That is 2 plus 3, 5. 7 plus 4, 11. 1 plus 1, 2. So the first one, the first multiple we will get that is 1, 2, 1, 5. Now next one that is adding that in 251 adding more 43 then we will get 5 plus 3, 8, 4 plus 1, 5, and here 2. So it will be 258. Okay, then after adding more 43 in it, that is 8 plus 3, 8 plus 3, that is 11, 5 plus 1, that is 6, 6 plus 4, that is 10, and here it will be 301. But we should not have to take more than 300. It is 301. So we will not write this. Moving forward to 25. So Here we know the table of 25 that is 25, 50, 75, 100, 125, 150, 175, 200, 225, 250, 275, 300. So here you can see the factors which are between 300 and 200 that is this so we will write that is 225 250 and 275 here it will be not 70 okay 275 so please write down this students
Okay, students. I have written down the answer. Moving towards question number six. So, question number six. Question number six. That is, state which of this are multiples of two. So, multiples. So here, we have to find out which are multiples of two. So here they have given.
your topic that is types of numbers. Types of types of numbers. So here we have seen many of the numbers that natural number, whole numbers, uh, integers, prime numbers, composite numbers, all the numbers. Okay, so now let us, we will see one by one all that numbers. So first of all, prime numbers and composite numbers. Here it is, prime numbers and composite numbers. Prime numbers and composite numbers. So here, first of all, I am just giving a theory, I am just reading the theory which is given in your textbook that is, write the factors of the number given in the table number 2.3. So here, we find that there is only one number with just one factor that is 1, okay. Then after B, that is there are many numbers with exactly two factors that are 2, 3, 5 and 7. These numbers are, these factors are 1 and the number itself. These are called the prime numbers. There are many numbers with more than two factors are called composite numbers. So here, in simple language, if I say that you have already studied this in previous class. So what is it? First of all, prime numbers. The prime number is what? The, there are only two factors that is 1 and the number itself that is known as the prime number. So prime number, if I just talk about it. So prime numbers, prime numbers. So what are prime numbers? That is, that is 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, then after 11, 13 and so on. So this all are the prime numbers which, have, which are having the 2 and 2 factor. One is, uh, first is 1 and the other is the number 8 itself. And now coming towards composite number. So what is composite numbers having more than two factors that is known as the composite number. So I will write that 4, then after 6, then after 8, then after 12 and so on. So these are the composite numbers. Okay, so then so here. In prime number 1 will not come students. Okay, it will start with 2 only. Okay, so here let us learn more about prime numbers through the exercise in table 2.4. Follow the following steps here and cross out each composite number as mentioned. Okay, so here step number 1. Num one number is not a prime or not. Uh, Composite, cross it out. So first we have to cross it out. Second step, number 2 is a prime number, does not cross it out. But all other multiples of 2 are composite, so cross them out. In other words, we are crossing out all the composite number which are having multiple of 2. Okay, then after number 3, that is number 3 is a prime number, so don't cross out it. Then, but cross out all the multiples of 3 as they are composite numbers neither then after number 4 that its multiple have already been crossed out with when we cross out the multiples of 2 and the number 
four itself is a multiple of two, so number five is a prime number, so does not cross it out. Cross out all the other multiples of five, not already crossed out. Okay. Then after number six and all its multiple are cross out when we cross out the number two and three. So number seven is a prime number, do not cross it out. Cross out all the multiples of seven, not already crossed out. Okay, the multiple of 8, 9 and 10 have already been crossed out when we cross out the multiple of 2, 3, 5, number 1 and all the composite numbers up to 100 have been crossed out. So, the numbers left uncrossed in the table are all the prime numbers and the crossed are all the composite number. Here you can see the in the uh, table number the answers is given. Okay, students. So, you just... Draw the table and do it by yourself or you can just do it here in the textbook. Okay, if you want to note this then you can note. Okay students, moving forward. So what is co-prime numbers? Let us see that. Co-prime numbers. So co-prime numbers is what? Two numbers. Two numbers that have that have only one as a factor common factor are known. If I just talk about, if I just take the example of 2 and 3, okay. So, what is it? 2 and 3. So, the factors of 2 that is 1 and 2. And the factors of 3 that is 1 and 3. Here you can see the... 1 is only common. So, here you can see 2 and 3 are the co-prime numbers. Okay, students. So, that are the co-prime numbers. Here, also all the all the prime numbers which all the prime numbers are there, they are the co-prime numbers of each other. Okay. Now, move towards next. That is, here it is given example number 13. That is, are 35 and 39 co-prime numbers. So here you can see 35 the factor are 7 into 5 into 1 and 39 that is 3 into 13 into 1. So thought both 35 and 39 are composite numbers. The only factor between common factor between them is 1. Therefore 35 and 39 are co-prime numbers. Here 
the common factor should be only one non other number will should be have the common okay so here 35 and 39 is the co prime numbers then after moving towards twin prime numbers so twin prime numbers that is let us again consider the table 24 2.4 the prime numbers 17 and 19 have got only one number that is 18 in between them in other words these two prime are close to each each other with a gap of only one number such pairs of prime are called twin prime number 17 is called the twin prime number of 19 and vice versa so here the prime numbers which have only one number gap okay which have only one number gap that is known as the twin prime number okay then after next that is prime triplex so what is prime tri triplex that is a set of three consecutive prime numbers differing by two is called a prime triplet. Okay, means the prime numbers which have only difference of two, that is known as what the prime numbers. Oh, sorry, prime triplets. That is three, five, and seven. So seven minus two, that is five. Five minus two, that is three. Okay, so they are the prime triplets. Then after even and odd numbers. Here that we have studied the, what are even numbers and what are odd numbers that we have studied. Okay, now moving further to exercise 2D, but that we will do in the next video. So in your homework, what you have to do that is So here in your homework, in your homework, in exercise two C, exercise two C, the question number seven. Question number 7 and from exercise 2D Question number 1 and question number 2 Okay, that you have to do in your homework But you have to just try question number 1 and question number 2 I am not telling compulsory that you have to do this both questions Okay students so this is your homework and we will meet in the next video. Okay, bye students.